Hello houseplants friends, this is Dee coming at you on April 27th, 2019. It is time for another houseplant update. So before I get started, I just want to say to everyone who's subscribed, thank you so much, it means a lot to me. And if you're new to my channel, I do bi-weekly houseplant tour and updates of everything I have. So if you're into that kind of thing, follow along. So let's get started with this video. My Hoya Kerry album Marginata. It has been in my possession now for about a month and a half maybe. It's doing well, but I don't see any growth on it. I was promised that this had the stems included in here and if a Hoya carry does have its stems included in the plant or in the root system that it should grow into a full plant but if it doesn't if it's only a leaf cutting that it will remain as it will root its leaf but it will only remain as leaves so I'm not really familiar with the Hoya carry or how fast it grows but yeah, it's been looking like this for the past month and a half now since I've gotten it. Alright, next up is my aloe vera. And yeah, putting on growth. Here was the baby last time I showed you. Let's see, yeah, right there. And it is just under my second knuckle. This was the teen last time I showed you. So it is doing well. Guys, I have not yet decided what I'm going to do with this planter. I need help. If you can make suggestions to me, I would appreciate it. This is a south facing window. However, it doesn't really get much light because as you can see, it's sort of blocked by the fence over there and by all those trees. So I, was, I would really like to do some sort of herbs in here. However, I have not been successful in the past with herbs just because this spot doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight. So if you can suggest something to me, I would appreciate it. All right, and we have my succulent collection. Echeveria over here and a Sempervivum, I think, I'm not quite positive. And then various succulents over here, a variegated Kalanchoe. I don't know all the names of these, but they've been with me now for quite some time. And I do keep them under the grow light because they do love a lot of lights. I noticed that these are putting on growth and maybe doing a little bit of a stretching there for light but at least they have not lost their color under the grow light all right you guys i'm excited to share with you good news finally my black mission fig has put on new growth <laughs> i'm so happy it, uh, if you recall, it was losing a lot of leaves and I was really sad about it and I didn't know what its status was. I knew it wasn't dead yet, but it wasn't putting on any new growth and finally, it did. And more coming in. Now this stem here, I'm losing this leaf. I know that's about to drop, but there is hope right here. There is hope, hope, new growth will be coming in. All right, my Stromanthi Trio star has been a star, has been putting on a lot of new shoots. Here's one, one that just unfurled over here. And this one over here, can't point and shoot at the same time. And there's that one and then there is a tiny one over there coming in let's see there's so many it has been happily growing yeah and the root system on this is exploding 
All right, next up is my bird's nest fern. Yeah, so if you recall from my last video, this was just a little bud like hiding in underneath here. Yeah, look at this growth in two weeks time. This is what it's looking like. And these were all the new growths that had come in since it's been in my possession. This and this over here. I think this was an older one. Yeah, and they are looking fabulous. This plant is really happy here. And this is an east facing window. Uh, it gets direct morning sunlight, but then after that, it's pretty much bright indirect light and that's what these two plants prefer and they do prefer moist soil but not wet and I do miss them every day. Alright next up is my Peperomia obtusifolia variegata. So if you guys recall two weeks ago I had cuttings that were taken from this plant and I was rooting in a jar of water and I showed you the roots. Well, since that video, I have definitely added that cutting into this pot right here. So this is one cutting that I had taken from this plant and put in on this side. And then this was the other one right here that I had taken um, and just potted up into this pot about two weeks ago so it's doing well lots of new growth on this one as you can see here and today I took another cutting the cutting is I made is right here and I am rooting that in water right now and this is what it looks like so it's got three stems on it one big one and two little tiny ones and that's where I made the cutting. So I just placed that in the jar of water today and hopefully in about a month, it takes about a month to root and then I will keep adding it to this pot because I really wanna get this pot full and looking lush. All right, moving down the shelf. My Calasia Repins Pink Lady. Sorry guys, uh, I have the grow light on right now. So let me show you. This has now been in my possession for about three weeks. And look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. I'm just in love with this plant. It has put on a lot of growth. Look at that. It's going wild and it's, it's stretching a bit since I've gotten it. Um, I'm not sure if that is an issue of lack of light, although it's sitting underneath a grow light or what but the colors on this the colors are just amazing the striping and the pink just amazing i am in love with this plant and then when you get the one right here with the pink and the stripe in it it's just to die for it is a diva love it okay let me turn off the grow lights Okay, so back here I have my Pothos Enjoy looking fab and its leaves are just like watercolors to me and I love it. And then next to it is my Hoya Carnosa Tricolor or also known as Crimson Queen and yep, it's a queen. It's a small one, but it is a queen. And I see that it's put on new growth here. Yeah, that's about it. And then back here I have a Paphos Jade and Golden. Where are the golden ones? Golden ones right there. Okay, another pride possession is my San Cerveria Dwarf Samurai. This one is a happy-go-lucky plant. It doesn't require a lot of maintenance, not a lot of watering. I water it 
only when its soil is very dry and uh, it doesn't need a whole lot of light although to grow it does require bright indirect bright but this one I don't even want to grow I want it to remain just like this it is gorgeous I love it exactly the way it is and I hope it remains like this too all right moving down this shelf you guys, my black Madeira fig is growing like mad. I know I said I would needed to take it out of its current greenhouse location because it's outgrowing the uh, greenhouse. Its leaves are growing like crazy. Look at that. I mean, oh my god, just just to give you an idea, the size of my hand and these leaves getting really big. This is not to be confused with a fiddle leaf fig tree. This is a black Madeira fig, the tree that produces figs. And it can be kept indoors and that's what I'm doing. I don't plan on planting it outdoors. Alright, next up is my... Arabian Jasmine. Let me just take it out for you guys so you can see in good lighting. All right, it's growing, man. It's grown since it last shown it to you. Oh my God. Oh my God, do you guys see what I see? Do you see that? My hands are shaking because I'm so excited. Do you guys see that? Oh my god, that is a jasmine flower coming in. <gasps> Finally! Oh. All right, next up is my wax begonia cutting. It has been putting on a lot of growth like crazy. It is time for this princess to put on some flowers. Hopefully, I don't see any, but yeah, hopefully. And then on the bottom here, we've got our rescue Kalasia Repens Pink Lady. Okay, next up is my basil. I had two basil uh, little pots here that were growing from seeds. And today I finally took out the little two pots and I transplanted both of them into this bigger pot and this is what the basil is looking like today yeah lots of growth the leaves are starting to get bigger and the smell is amazing <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put this um, but it's just I, I don't know, I just love having the scent around. I, I keep sniffing it <laughs> because it's just amazing. All right, and then I have my Maltese Cross seedlings showing some sign of uh, growth there. I do see a second set of leaves on a few of them that are starting to pop up. But overall, it is a very slow grower, this Maltese cross. All right, and then next up is my yucca. Looking gorgeous and healthy on top. And on the bottom, it is in triage mode still. If you recall, I told you in my last video that I lost a lot of leaves because it was sitting in the dark corner over here not getting a lot of light I've even lost more leaves since then but I do see that the new growths here are doing well all right and I just want to tell you guys that is my hummingbird feeder and today I saw my first hummingbird arrive so I'm excited about that So this is my second Hoya Carnosa tricolor. 
I haven't trimmed it yet just because I haven't really had the time but maybe soon who knows we'll see how it goes that's a close-up of what the leaves are looking like okay and then next up is my lucky bamboo and then my third diva of a Hoya Carnosa tricolor okay what I can tell you about this one is that this is new right here or maybe from last time I have been seeing a lot of uh, new leaves new baby leaves that come up and dry out and fall off if you guys know what the deal is with that I would sure appreciate it leave me a comment below but this is my love and then over here these two stems are like intertwined it's like they're in love I've separated them and they keep coming back together they're like happy lovers walking in the park I just love it very cute all right I recently added this shelf over here and of course I had to have a plant and a plant that I've been dying to get is a staghorn fern and finally I got one and I put it up here and this is a close-up right here of what it looks like so I heard or I've read somewhere that the uh, yellow leaves or or leaves that turn brown yellow and brown you're not supposed to cut off because some of these leaves are male and some of them are female and they need each other to reproduce I'm not quite sure I've read this somewhere but I'm not quite sure what to do with this yellow one right there if you guys know let me know because I sure love this beauty I love it okay next up is my peperomia crucifolio or peperomia guinea rainbow guinea so this was the new growth last time and that's how much it's grown since then not a whole lot but other than that that is it okay uh, lucky bamboo cuttings here growing happy and then my ZZ plant and my Sansevieria bentel sensation two plants that can tolerate low light conditions I do move this one over to the window every now and again just to give it light so that it can grow I do want it to grow tall because it could definitely use the height here and I also don't want it to lose its variegation so I do move it uh, to the window every few days I did notice recently I have some browning here brown crispy edges I'm not sure what that's about is that something because I haven't been watering this because these are plants that don't require a whole lot of water and sometimes I can go for a month two months on this one this one about a month without watering so if you guys know what's causing this brown crispiness let me know please I would appreciate it I'd hate to lose this plant it means a lot to me and definitely cost a pretty penny okay next up is my spider plant doing well lush and full this is the baby not much growth still since uh, about a month now month and a half but um, the stem from where this baby is this is all new right here this is new growth so that I've noticed recently all right and then 
my Sansevieria Xylenica in this corner. Another low light plant that uh, I water about once a month when the soil is dry. Moving on to my bedroom. My ZZ plant. And this had like about six shoots that uh, were sprouting. So this was the biggest shoot and it's starting to open up its leaves right now. That's another one, another one, another one. There's one back here. Am I missing any? I don't believe I'm missing any right now, but um, overall healthy and doing well and putting on a lot of growth. And my pothos enjoy um, hanging on my window curtain rods. This one is trailing down, you guys. And here's another stem coming in right here. Sorry, not stem, leaf coming in right here. In a few days, that should unfurl. But yeah, I am crazy that this vine here is starting to trail down. And I wish more would also do the same, but I guess this one is a slow grower. So, you know, I'm grateful that it's, uh, it's looking healthy and doing well in this window. And my final plant and recent purchase is this Sansevieria Black Star. Oh, I got this one about a week and a half ago from Gabriella Plants and it even came with pups. So that's one pup right here. There's another one right there. And here's a pup right there. Hey, it came with a few pups. I think it was a total of three pups. But yeah, it's really cute and uh, I love the gold, the yellow gold and the green. It's just so cute. Alright you guys, so this concludes my houseplant tour and update video. Always great to have you and thanks for watching. Until next time.